start my talk with a question how many of you ride bicycles very good almost 90 percent how many of you know what's the maximum angle that you can ride on a bicycle you know give me some numbers five degrees two degrees three degrees 20 degrees 30 degrees yeah I think somebody said it right almost seven degrees uh, most of us cannot go beyond 10 degrees 10 is a maximum so a man can climb vertically upwards at 90 degrees. We have enough muscle to push our body at 90 uh, degrees. But a man on a bicycle, when you increase 15 kilograms or just 20% of your weight or 15% of your weight, your climbing angle comes down from 90 degrees to 10 degrees. So I always had this problem with the circularly pedal bicycle because when I was a schoolboy, I was living on a slope and every morning I have to you know, uh, climb this slope to reach the school on my bicycle. So, can you play the air animation? Yes, you. Play it now, please. No, just open it. Yeah, play it. That's right. So, when I was working in California, after working for a year, I made this animation and I wrote a business plan sent to many Silicon Valley venture capitalists but did not get that lucky. I came back in 2003 and uh, I built, close it, close it, yeah, fast. And I built this bicycle, so I built this bicycle, the pedals will go up and down and if you look at the side view of the bicycle, what I needed was a 1 is to 15 gear ratio to make this bicycle work because this bicycle has high torque capacity. But I couldn't find a 1 is to 15 gear ratio system in 2003. So I made a two step system. So that, uh, that's why you see, how do I press the laser? Is there a laser on this? Okay, here. From here to here is 1 is to 6 and from there to there there is a 1 is to 2.5. So I approximately got 1 is to 15 gear, uh, gear ratio. I tested the principle, it, it, it works. I was quite happy. But because I have a two step system, my efficiency was, was eaten away and uh, I could not call this a mechanism or system which is more efficient than the normal bicycle. Uh, but sometime in 2005 or 6, a, a German company launched a compact uh, gear system with which in one step I could achieve 1 is to 15 gear ratio. Okay, then I thought I should apply this mechanism because the mechanism is a success but it may not work on a bicycle immediately because I'm, I don't have the money to make that 1 is to 15 gear ratio system. So I thought what should I do with this mechanism? In which market can I apply it in where I can fund the research and development all by myself? And one day I read in the newspaper that uh, close to 45 farmers are committing suicide uh, every day in India. And I searched on Google and I found that there is only a Wikipedia link for farmer suicides in India uh, for no other country. So I thought this is uh, my market where I'm going to implement it. I felt burdened morally that we all share a responsibility for the state of farmers. Uh, these are the people who put food into our mouth. In most of the uh, developed countries, farmers are rich people. They are the manufacturers uh, and they make a lot of money. So I decided that I'm going to apply this mechanism into a pedal powered pump. Uh, most of the farmer suicides happen based on my research from agriculture professors and as well as journalists who work in this area that because of shortage of water or rain, uh, when rains fail them, crops fail them, and you know they lose their land because the land is uh, bought on loans. So that's how they are forced to do the unthinkable. So this is uh, the pedal system, and you have a gear, and you have a gearbox here, and you have a flywheel, and you have a pump. If you remove this pump, this inlet of the pump, and that's the out, out, output of the pump. If if you remove this pump, the light here. Now, if you remove this pump. And if you put an alternator, it becomes a pedal-powered generator. 
if you put a, a, a compressor and a condenser, it becomes a pedal powered fridge. If you put a mixer or juice, it becomes a pedal powered juice machine. So you can do a lot. And according to Wikipedia, an average adult can uh, work at two, uh, 240 watts for one hour per day without much strain. It's three watts per kilogram for one hour. So 240 watts, and you can at least get uh, 200 watts out of it, even if you take away the losses in batteries. Uh, okay, now I made this after five prototypes. I got that machine, and I'm you know this is the machine. I'm going to take just a second. It's so it goes up and down, as you can see. So after I made this machine, I realized that the efficiency of pumping is only about 40%. Even if you use the, the world's best, uh, smoothest pump, you only get 40% uh, efficiency. But the efficiency of lifting is almost higher 100%. So I got a better idea for, uh, for lifting. You don't need a gearbox. You don't need a flywheel. You don't need a pump. You just pedal and, uh, and lift it. So I got the better idea after working on an inferior idea. That's how you get good ideas. You, you always get inferior ideas first. So I stopped further investment on this. And I decided to make a pedal powered water lifting machine. And that's a picture. And that's a man standing. Uh, this is the bucket. And there are four holes here. This bucket can hold about 65 kilograms of water. This is uh, designed for a 1 is to 1 ratio. So you can lift your weight. Uh, but if you're lightweight, you are lightweight, say you have 40 kilograms, you don't want the bucket to be full. So there are four holes here. So you open uh, these holes accordingly to adjust the volume of water in it. And there is a tap here. So you lift the bucket, open the tap, take out the water, and the bucket goes down into the well and fills the well again. This is a close-up view of a four-pedal mechanism which I did. First I used my previous principle, then I used the bicycle. Uh, method to lift bucket, but I realized that I could only lift about 15 kilograms. Uh, this four pedal mechanism, I, I have four pedals at, at a separation of 90 degrees. This gives me high torque capacity. I can lift my own weight. If I use a bicycle mechanism, I can only lift water with a weight of 15 kilograms, but with this four pedal mechanism, now I can lift 80 kilograms, which I will show you. This is a plastic water tank which many farmers that I speak to are, are not aware of. It is three times cheaper than the drum, plastic drums used by farmers to uh, store water. And this plastic tank is also flexible. So you, the transportation cost is almost zero. Uh, they can store 10 tons in it. Now this is available in India. Now this is the status of farming in the world. I'm giving a simple comparison. According to Wikipedia and commonly known links, only 50% of India's cropland or agriculture area is artificially irrigated. The rest is fully dependent on rains. So if we can solve that, we can increase uh, the output of a country by, uh, by at least 100%. At least. Because more water means more yield. Uh, as compared to land which gives you zero yield because of crop failure. What should farmers do when it, it, it says nine minutes now? Previously, it was 12 minutes. Now, what should farmers do? Oh, it's going backwards. OK. What should farmers do? Uh, they should uh, pedal and lift. I, I'm going to give you a demonstration of this. That's what's the last. Farmers should pedal and lift as much as water as possible when there is rain. Even in Rajasthan, there is 12 to 15 days of rain per year. During those rains, the water levels rise from, say, 30 you know, 40 meters below the down level to about 10 meters, maybe 5 meters when th there is rain. They can also cover the surrounding of the well with some plastic seed so that all the water falling close to the well will fall into the well. So they lift as much as uh, water as possible and store in that plastic tank which I showed you and pipe the water storage to their farm. Even with two feet of height of the water tank, they can uh, pipe water to several kilometers. Even with a small amount of pressure, with, with one meter height of water tank, you can pipe water to, say, 10 kilometers. It will still flow. 
uh, is a farmer can bet one to ten acres uh, per head for one hour of peddling per day. So that's not too much of exercise, especially for farmers that I've dealt with. Some farmers used to walk 20 kilometers to see my demonstrations, and these people are like 70 plus. So they tell me that one hour a day is nothing for them. A single big well in a village can help. Uh, the government of India has lots of uh, programs where they fund free, for free, uh, to, to create and dig these wells. The, uh, some advantages compared to solar pumps, the only way to pump water where there is no electricity is solar pumps. And it is six times cheaper, more reliable because there is no electronics. Uh, it's all rugged parts. I'm not even using a ball bearing, so there is no, there's no part where, there's no part in this machine that you can change. The only part is the rope. Uh, and also, if you look at the support here, all the supports are in the form of U. See, here there is a U and there there is a U. So you pedal it and after pedaling, you lift the machine, go home. There is no risk of that. The frame can be attached to the ground, but the pedaling mechanism and the rope and the clutch are all removable with the press of a button. Compare solar pumps, it's costly, it's hard to remove the solar panels, you need experts for that. Uh, some other uses of this, pedal power generator, uh, 100 watt hour for one person's exercise for 30 minutes. If you are using one of these in your hostels, uh, two people can pedal and power your own hostels for two days. And that's not like six hours pedaling, half an hour, something like that. I am asking if the college is interested, I could implement some. Uh, this college could be the world's greenest uh, you, uh, college or autonomous university in the world. And it also helps with your health. You can use this as a pedal powered uh, refrigerator. A, a man uh, uh, working out for half an hour can cool half a cubic feet for one day. Half a cubic feet is about 50 liters. So a family needs say two or three liters of drinking water, then their vegetables and eggs and bread and rice. They don't need more than 15 liters um, for an average living in India. So if, if there are four adults in a family, father exercises half an hour for fridge, the mother exercises half an hour for light, you exercise half an hour for TV and laptop, and if you want to make a juice, go and exercise and drink the juice. Uh, pedal powered, you can also make, you can also uh, uh, make a pedal powered compressor, pedal powered mixer, or any rotating machine within one SP. Now I'm going to quickly demonstrate, come fast. And the next slide is my last slide. So, can you show, so we have five minutes, relax. Yeah. So Patmanabhan weighs about uh, 60 kilograms. I'm not going to use water because water can dirty the stage. Uh, he sits on this. This stand is not part of the machine because I cannot bring a well here. I'm using this stand. So I'm going to do it slowly. I can do it much faster. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. I want to see, I want you to see that there is a one-way mechanic. There is a one-way mechanism here. So if you're paddling, if you're suddenly tired, you can go and watch a movie, let the water remain there, and come back and take the rest of the water. So now he will come down. Yeah, come down. Relax, slowly, yeah. Yeah, now he come down, and, and if, you, if you disengage the clutch, Yeah, now he has disengaged the clutch and it will go down by self-weight. So now the bucket goes down into the well, you shake it and it's full and you repeat the cycle again. Um, okay, my last slide. Okay, since most of you in the audience are engineers, my message to you is that I believe that a child learning to walk involves the creativity required for inventing bulb, engine and radio or telephone or washing machine, whatever you want to call it. Does anybody who can walk has in effect invented all the above? Um, so I'm also an, 
So I'm also an invention trainer in two engineering colleges. They started about six months back. And first the colleges were not very convinced that students in those colleges could invent. They were not from IITs. But I told them, all, ba all, all babies, like the previous speaker spoke, all babies are born violent atheist or rationalist. Also, all babies are born inventors. And all you need to do is to provoke that dormant gene, the inventor gene in you. So I work with them. Later they listen to me. Uh, they allow me to go and train these people. I would take all these inventions, about six inventions, and open it up in the classrooms and explain to them through a story form exactly how I got the ideas and how I moved from one idea to the other and how all this stuff is manufactured and how to use Google uh, to do what the corporates are doing for free. And now about 40 invention projects were conceived by students themselves. And both these colleges have announced 2 to 3 lakh rupees of prize for inventor of the year or best project awards. And many of the students are so serious, are so determined and have done so much research that they know exactly at what price they are going to sell their product eight months from now. So this is what I want to tell you. I agree with most of what the previous speakers were saying that the best way to solve this recession is through, is through invention and you engineers can do a lot, not just engineers, anybody who, who venture into the creative domain of thinking and thinks that he or she can change the world can do it. The word engineer is only 150 years old, so it doesn't matter that you are an engineer or not. You still can change the world um, and you should feel lucky that you are in an engineering college. Thank you very much.